Welcome my Mahjong class clinic and this live clinic. We are reviewing the basics or maybe something you might have forgotten or a great tip and strategy. Tonight we're discovering all about the categories on the 2024 card. It's important to learn the categories. So we'll be discussing the categories and different ways to learn them. I um, am excited to tell you that we have 46 of the 50 states and we just got in Indiana we have our friends Dave David and Laura Mississippi we have our friends Carol and Kathleen Utah we have is it Irva and we also got somebody from Alaska I am so excited we have so many Mahjong friends around the United States and now we're expanding to around the world. It's so exciting to have you all here. If everyone could say hi, I would appreciate it. Hi everyone. Oh, we have Mona and Kathleen. So glad you're here. Who else do we have this evening? If you can type in the chat, I'd appreciate it. As we're waiting for everybody to get on, we're gonna start our topic. So our topic tonight is about learning the categories. So why should we learn the categories? As Mahjong players, we need to know at least the names of the categories. You should be able to name them without looking at the card and where they're located on the card to be able to communicate information um, in, like correctly to your other Mahjong players. For example, many times, I can't tell you, then I probably, it's over 10 times that people say, where is that hand? And the players will tell them the category and they still are searching all over the card because they can't even find the category. So make sure you know the 10 categories and where they are located on the card. Mahjong should um, also have a working knowledge of the categories because it helps them to find their dealt tiles when they get it on the onset of the game. Although we have the whole card to play, each category and hand have distinct, distinctive characteristics. So um, these have to be memorized. I don't expect you to memorize the whole card. I expect you to memorize the category titles or the um, headings and what you should collect during the Charleston. This is a lifelong skill um, and we should try to memorize it. So for example, when I mean about the details of each category, I'll say um, three, six, nine, for example. When you're playing in that category, you should collect three, six, nine in different suits, plus dragons and flowers. Everything else should be garbage. Another example is in consecutive run, you should be collecting the numbers, four numbers in a row based on your multiples and only four numbers. Any numbers beyond that or before that that you're not collecting, you should discard or get rid of during the Charleston. And you wanna collect different suits. You wanna collect dragons. Dragons are in that, both all dragons and flowers. So you um, go through and uh, pick out the things that you're supposed to collect in the categories and that's um, you, how you define the categories. Now we're still trying to learn the categories. So one of the things you can also do is just group the categories or chunk the categories and learn them um, in a fashion. For example, I have highlighted a T. So you would learn these simple four categories of two, four, six, eight, consecutive run, three, six, nine, and one, three, five, seven, nine, and create the pattern of a T so that you know where they are on the card. That's evens, consecutive runs, three, six, nine, and odds. You can also learn a V pattern, and that would give you just three categories on the card. That would be two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven, nine, and three, six, nine. And all this is trying to get you to learn where the categories are located on the card and what are the categories. Another thing you can do if you're, uh, you can color coat the card. Um, I would recommend putting a clear plastic over the top and you can color the categories so that they stand out individually. They're all kind of similar. So you can color code them. 
You want to identify the categories in a certain way. I put them on flashcards and I flip over the flashcards and I put on the back what I need to collect for each category. You can use colored flashcards so you can relate each category to a color. You want to kind of have like a fact sheet on the back of it. Flowers and dragons are all in two, four, six, eight and in odds and, and three, six, nine. So that's something to keep in mind that you're collecting also. Each time um, you complete a different area, test yourself. You can take all the uh, index cards, lay them out, put them in order. You can also test what you have to collect for each category. Still trying to learn the categories, you can sing a song or create a poem to remember them. And these are all learning techniques that you would use in um, any uh, task that you're trying to learn. You're putting facts to music or a poem. Um, I always say I can always remember a song from the 80s, but I can't remember what I had for breakfast this morning or dinner last night. So I created this um, poem real quick just to help some people remember all the categories. So um, it's titled The 10 Amazing Categories. Each individual category contributes a quality that is great. Shout about them before it's too late, so let's start the fun. One by one, evens odds consecutive run, oh, and three, six, nine, just so fine. What a year it will be with these categories. We are like, we are like in numbers, numbers all the same. Lots of smiling jokers when quince. Now you go, now you got game. Directions we go, north, south, north, south, east, west, the winds blow, and the dragons roar, roar, as you know. Let's not forget our schooling with addition hands, plus, plus. In the end, we either are single or we, paired, we pair up with no fuss. These are the 10 amazing categories. So you can try this poem, and um, it helps you remember the categories or create your own poem or song. And again, as I mentioned, to learn the categories, these were the things we just talked about. You can group the categories by creating like a V, a T. You can create a poem. You can create your own mechanisms. You can create games. Um, maybe you can create a game remembering the categories. Again, use your categories like spelling words, put them on flashcards, or write them down over and over. You can connect the categories with shapes or colors. You can color in the categories. I am very much a visual learner so, and connect as a tool for memorizing. Um, I have found that many people have the same style of learning. So try these different techniques um, like the shape, how we learn patterns, the shape of the hand, which we'll discuss in another live clinic. When you choose a color for a category, make a conscious decision about a color that you choose color it and um, it's a great tool for memory. For example, I think of 2468 as the color orange and maybe it's my favorite color. So that's the color I will put on 2468, the whole category. 369, I think about green, meaning that I don't often play the 369 category, so I'm kind of green about it. Um, I don't know why I associate them. I'm just giving you ideas on how to um, color the categories. A lot of people um, are good with coloring um, and remembering certain colors with numbers. You can use digital games. We need practice, but we have, um, we could use flashcards that you can use on Quizlet. A Quizlet is something my children used in education and they loved it. So you can try using that to learn the categories. Also on I Love Maj, of course, there's all the exercise rooms to learn the categories also. So have fun and celebrate learning all the categories. This is definitely 100%, I believe, most people, why they get frustrated with the card is because they don't know the categories and they don't know what they have to collect for those categories during the Charleston. This will speed up your Charleston and help you pick a hand easier. So try it. We have a whole pe bunch of people on tonight. Wow, everybody popped on I, while I was chatting. Hi, Janet, Mona, Monica, Colette, Colette's from Massachusetts, um, Kim, 
Yes, everybody has their card, Kim. I'm sure there's a few that don't. Oh, that's another thing. Make sure you order your card every January 1st. You'll get it in the first batch and you won't have to wait so long. And we have Karen from Pennsylvania, Kim, Mona, the new card. I think I will really like to play this card this year. Yeah, me too. Bluebird from California has not received her card yet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, mid-March. So that's why Bluebird, uh, next year order it in January and you'll get it in the first round. Yeah, it's gonna take a while if you ordered it in mid-March. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, bummer, sorry, Bluebird. I, um, I love your little bird. She's beautiful that you have as your icon on here. <laughs> I'm a watercolor artist, so that looks like a little fun little thing that I would do. Um, Thank you so much for everyone being on here. I love that you come on each week with me. I appreciate your love and support. And please give me a thumbs up for each time you enjoy the topic so that it, makes me, it helps me continue to make more and shows that you are enjoying this channel. If you haven't subscribed, hit, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to share with fellow um, Mahjong enthusiasts as well as tell them about my channel, Kana uh, Mahjong Class. I'm sorry, I teach Kanasta also. I must said Kanasta Class. Um, thank you for always engaging while we play on I Love Maj and adding comments and sharing your thoughts. I appreciate it. You can always type in below in the comments below and I will um, get back to you on it if this is um, you're watching the recording. I'm so glad you're here tonight. And if you want to become a member like our friend Kathleen, you can earn badges like Kathleen has and little icons. You can just click join and it is a small nominal fee to join and um, it shows support in another way for this channel. If you're interested in buying a new Mahjan set, maybe you're treating yourself the new card, new set, a whole new year in Mahjan, you can try Oh My Maj. John, excuse me, oh my Mahjong at Maj, and get use the code Maj class to get 10% off. You can also try Yellow Mountain Imports for Mahjong class 10. They have more traditional sets, which are beautiful. They have wood racks if you're interested in that. You can also Google Mahjong class and you'll come to my website and you can click on shop everything Mahjong and you can see most of the sets there. Tonight we're going to play on I Love Maj. Use my code CB and you get three weeks for free. This is a wonderful time of year to join I Love Maj for your three free weeks because you can try out their fabulous exercise room and you can learn the card to do so. They just added a new exercise. I have not even looked at it, but I will be talking about it over the next couple of weeks. Um, bringing up each of their exercises and talking about the importance of how you can learn the new card with them. So we will get to that shortly. Um, and let's go on to I Love Maj and play. So we're going to go to play game launch. We're going to play with the bots. And this is really my, um, and I'm doing advanced. This is my third time playing. I've been so super busy. I have been playing, uh, not playing, I've been teaching the new card to past students and some new students. And so I've been crazy busy. First I Charleston. really haven't had time to sit down and play the card. I did fairly well last week. I think I played four games, one, two. I played on Friday with some friends. I think I won one or two games, um, so I'm pretty pleased with how uh, it's going. I will tell you, because I know the card and the categories, the concepts are all still there. It's just a matter of sorting the tiles into the hand. So as I mentioned, to learn the card, learn the 10 categories. When you get your tiles on the onset of the game, which is what we have now, you sort by suit. And then I look for my pairs. In this example, I have pairs of twos and threes. I know twos and threes can be used in consecutive run, consecutively. I know they can be used in Winds and Dragons. I know they can be used in Quince. And 
probably singles and pairs, but we're probably not gonna play that because we have all these beautiful flowers. The next thing I usually do is decide I'm going to play consecutive run. I'm not going to collect more than four numbers. If you look on the card, there's no more than four numbers in a row. So depending on what numbers you have, that's where you're going to collect. I'm going to now choose my tiles to pass. Remember, I'm keeping flowers. I'm keeping the run uh, two, three, four, five. And I'm keeping it in any suit. It just happens to be all cracks. I'm gonna keep the dragon. And I think at this point, we can double check on that dragon. If I'm not playing line number two on the new card, I don't need the dragon. That's opposite. And line number five is the same. So we probably can get rid of the dragon. So let's get rid of the nine, the six, and the green. I have not looked at the card yet to see what hand I'm playing, but that's um, generally how I start off the game. So let's pass. Oh, I picked up an east. I don't want the seven and I don't want the green. So now I do have to look into the card. If I'm gonna play east and west with a run, that's going to be line number five in Winds and Dragons. It has to, uh, it's part B. So I need four east and four west with the numbers one, two, three, or two, three, four. So I probably don't need this number five. If I'm going to play with flowers, I'm probably playing line number two, which would be two, three, four, or one, two, three. So I probably don't need this other flower. I'm already kind of committed to a hand or two, and I'm just keep moving along to see if it builds up. So let's pass across. Oh, I picked up that one. That's absolutely fabulous. I'm gonna get rid of these three tiles. And my friend Sue's not on here, and most of you are probably cringing right now that I am going to pass a flower. I don't need that flower, so I'm not gonna keep it. I am on my for myself first, and then I'm going to see uh, if we're going to stop it after this. So I'm going to pass three to the left, and I could do a blind pass here, but I'm just going to push forward and get rid of the flower. We're going to see if Kurt uses it. I have a one, six, and nine. I don't need it, so I can continue. Second Charleston. Oh, we got our one. Wow. We can play east and west with ones. We can play flowers with one, two, three. Um, I do like that east and rest with one, but that means getting rid of my flower. Because we need um, four east and four west. Kathleen said, like numbers are powerful and natural to collect. Remember that the 2024 card, all, all of the like number hands are exposed. Yes, Kathleen. Hi, Roxy. Monica says to save flowers. Yes, but if you're not going to use a Monica, what are you going to do with all those flowers? They're taking up space. We're not growing gardens here. We're playing Mahjong. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, Sue is on here. So were you cringing that I'm passing these flowers? Because I might just do it again. I might just pass flowers. All right, here we go. I'm passing a flower. Second flower pass into Annie. Let's see if somebody plays with them. Courtesy pass. Nothing. I passed two flowers. I did. Not together. But um, we're going to see. Oh, I got two dragons now. We go, could always go back to line number two. Okay, we're getting rid of the nine. Nine bam. So I'm trying to play Six east crack. and west with the um, little run. Flower. Oh, look, so. they're getting rid of the flowers. They don't want them. Eight crack. Six crack. So. Eight dot. Uh, more flowers. I don't want flowers. Flower. They just want me to play Two that bam. hand. Six dot. Call. Red. I'm getting these flowers flower. out of here. 
So. Hey, somebody needs a pair. So. Flower. Oh, look, nobody's playing those flowers. One dot. North. East. Oh, there goes my one east dot. and west. Eight crack. Maybe if we get Five four, bam. we can play with the green dragons. Line number two. We can play one, two, three, four. Eight dot. It's amazing how your hand changes so fast. Eight crack. One dot. North. Seven bam. One crack. I'm going to try for line number two, although I don't have my fours. All right, we'll let this one crack go and we'll call for the next one. Actually, we don't need to call because I don't know the pattern. <laughs> the pattern this year is um, the old last year's pattern for consecutive run line number one. It's the same pattern from last year for line number two. So it's the pairs on the outside, the Kong in the middle, and the Pungs. So I'm learning this card just like you guys, so I just need a pair. I'm going to ignore this. Five dot. South. Nine crack. I would like Three some crack. fours. I'm going to pass. I'll have to call on the next ones. Oh, yay, we got the four. I'm playing line number two. I'm going to give it a go. So let's get rid of these wins. West. Seven crack. One bam. North. Nobody's playing them. They didn't pass them though either. Three dot. Three dot. One bam. Red. Three dot. Seven bam. Eight crack. One dot. Oh boy. One bam. Seven bam. It's crazy Two not crack. to have my pair. Okay, let's call it. We need a pung. I'm going to do it. Call. East. Nine dot. I need a green and I need a three and a four. Nine dot. Three dot. Eight dot. Nine dot. One crack. We don't need it. We have a pair. Eight dot. We don't need the red. Red. Nine crack. Seven dot. Call. Two dot. Oh, nice. All we need is a four crack. East. Seven crack. Oh, he's probably, Kurt's probably playing two flowers, six, seven, eight, or five, six, seven. Joker oh, swap. We get the four Three crack. before. Oh, we don't need it. We need a pair of fours. Four dot. If you're playing call in a tournament, south. I guess you would call it for to get a pure and discard the joker. Four dot. To get a jokerless hand. West. But I'm just trying to win here. East. South. Seven crack. Three bam. Oh no. If I give this, Kurt can have Monshan. Ah, let's try it. A lot of flowers are out already. Flower. Four oh. bam. Made it. <laughs> he doesn't Ma need Zhang. it. Oh, but he's still. Oh, look at that. Kurt. Nobody even played flowers. Oh, that worry. I had all those flowers I passed. Nobody even played them. That just proves something there. Don't worry about those flowers. I mean, worry about them if you have other options, but don't worry about them if you don't. Just don't pass them together because that would give somebody a pair. Kurt played, Sue, our new pattern. Instead of Pung Kong, Pung Kong, our new pattern is Pung Pung Kong Kong, three, three, four, four. So Kurt won that hand with the numbers four, five, six, seven. Congratulations to him, that's line number seven. And that's gonna throw your brain off too that's usually line number two. They moved it all the way to line number seven, which is a little crazy because when I first got the card, I was like, where's this hand? And it was all the way down at line number seven. Annie played consecutive run line number seven. Um, 
again, the same one, the pung kong, uh, excuse me, pung pung, kong kong hand, but she played the numbers two, three, four, five. Amstead played uh, two, four, six, eight, line number one in two suits. And we were trying to play consecutive run line number two with opposite dragon. Also note, with that line number two, a switchable hand is line number five. They're very compatible with the exception line number five is with the um, matching dragon. Line number two is opposite dragon. So keep that in mind. Dragons are useful in that category. And the opposite dragon's in the middle, and if you have a hard time with that, maybe you want to highlight it or put a box around it so that it draws attention to it. Usually dragons are at the end. This is in the middle. So I tried adjusting. I thought I did a great job. We just needed one more tile for Mahjong. The problem is we were competing with Annie. She was also looking for the fours, and she had to. There was, I think one did get discarded. Actually, no, it was a three that got discarded. So we were in competition. Um, I am pleased with my hand. It was very close. You just can't win them all. Somebody got it before me. So let's try the next um, game. First Charleston. We're gonna sort by suit. Yikes, no pairs. So we get to pick wherever we want to play. Sue's asking, how does everyone like the chow hand in consecutive run? I think it's fun. I think it's great that they incorporated a chow hand and a chow is three numbers exactly consecutive. So if you look at number six, um, it is one, two, three, and it doesn't have to be one, two, three. It could be a six, seven, eight but then you have to have the consecutive number follow, so nine, nine. So, and take note that it's five flowers in a consecutive run category. So don't get messed up and only put four up, it's five. So where are we gonna play? Where would you guys like to play tonight for this hand? I have a little of everything. You can always um, sort by rank to see if you have a lot of low or high numbers. I have a lot of low numbers. So maybe we should just get rid of the high. Um, we could also play odds. I don't know, it's kind of all over the place. Two, four, six, no eight. Three, six, nine, just three. Shall we go with odds? I would like to play an addition hand too, but we have no flowers. Where does everybody, everybody like me to play? I'm gonna wait a minute and you can chime in of where we think we should play. Yeah, Mona, very close last hand. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Little odds, Mona says. Okay, we're gonna do odds. So Mona, I'm gonna do odds, but I'm gonna keep all odds initially if I can. And so let's get put all the evens to the right and see what kind of mess we have. But I am gonna keep all odds. We don't wanna play with the north because that's not there. We're gonna keep our dragon. So let's do a two, a four, and a north. Okay, onward, we're doing odds. Oh, we pulled a three, put it in sequential order where it belongs, and a nine. And we have three to pass. It should go pretty quickly when you don't have to think too much. Um, we pulled a seven, put it in sequential order, and with dragon. And now we only have one tile that we really want to get rid of. So now you have to decide, are we gonna play a hand that has the numbers from one to nine odds, which I don't think we are. We're gonna now whittle it down and play either low odds or high odds. Also, please don't forget in singles and pairs, there is also an odd hand, line number two. That would be fun to play, but we don't have any flowers. Usually what I do is I look at the dragon sometimes and I see if I'm gonna play the dragons. So you would need a matching dragon in line number three. 
with flowers, which I don't have. And in line number six, you need an opposite dragon, which could potentially work. Okay, so I'm probably gonna get rid of the green and I'm gonna look at line number six. It would be five, seven in dots. I have a feeling we're gonna get rid of the low odds too. Five, seven in dots with seven, nine in red. Let's get rid of one of these. I don't think they're gonna work get rid of the one. Let's continue. Second Charleston. Um, we could play, now that we're getting, we have one three. The top hand in consecutive run is still mixed suits. So we have one and three in the same suit. Let's get rid of these last three. We have one and three in the same suit, a five in dots and seven nine in bands. We don't need this. Oh, now we're getting a nine. You know what they don't have this year? They don't have the two flowers and five, seven, nine in Kongs, or was it Pungs last year? It was a Kong and a Pung. I think it was four flowers, fives and a Kong, a pair of sevens and a Kong of nines. They don't have that this year. The very bottom hand is concealed and it has to be sevens and sevens. So what shall we do? I kind of like that five, seven, seven, nine hand with the dragon, but now we have these beautiful nines. Yikes, we just need two. So let's get rid of the north and the five. Oh, there's one, three, five, seven, nine. Oh, I like that one. That's line number four, but it's lots of pairs and we only have one of each. Yeah, I think, Sue, the math hands will be fun, but it's not going to work with the numbers we have here. We have nines and sevens. All right, I'm going to get rid of the five. I'm not going to do that pair hand, although that would be nice, line number four, because that would let me use my sevens and my nines, but we don't have pairs. We just have one of each. Let's get rid of the five. A green we don't want, a one we don't want, and a two we do not want. Courtesy pass. Oh, we got that five back. Oh, and a red. Thanks. Maybe we should only do one tile? Or do we have the ability to play that bottom hand? No, we need five, seven, nine, and then, oh, sevens, not nines. Let's do... I'm going to do two. I'm going to do the nine and the five again. Although I'm not sure why I'm keeping these. Or this nine. <laughs> Sometimes you hold on to pairs and you're not even sure why. There's no double nines in one, three, five, seven, nine. Maybe we'll get rid of the last three. We're going to just keep all up our numbers. Because I also saw like numbers. So let's get three. I'm getting rid of these three. I saw like numbers of nines. Four bam. Prioritize your discards. I'm going to keep the dragon if we get like numbers. Four dot. We Flower. have a long way to go. It's going to be interesting with this hand. Ah, we got the nine. Eight crack. So I'm Five crack. really looking at line number six, the second half. One crack. The problem is I don't have my pairs of fives Flower. and sevens. One bam. Two dot. Flower. Got a long way to go. Two bam. Six dot. Seven, eight, eight seven, dot. eight, nine. Nine crack. Not ready for it. Green. North. North. No, we're not playing Two it. Two crack. Flower. Three bam. No one. One crack. 
Eight dot. Three crack. Call. West. Oh, we have a quint. Anstead is playing a quint. East. Mahjong. Oh, geez, Louise. Look at all those jokers. Of course he was playing the quint. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, he's killing me. So he's playing that fabulous hand line number two. That is the, one of the wonderful hands this year. It's any number, any two numbers. They should be in different suits. They have to be in different suits with any wind. So good for him he played that line. But all those jokers, no wonder why. <laughs> um, Annie was playing four, five, six, line number four. Oh, repeating. This is a fun little hand. It's a little different. Four, five, six, four, five, six in two different suits. You have to have um, a single pair, a Kong, a single pair, Kong. It's rough. You have to have those pairs and that single. The single's always easier to pick up than the two pairs. And Kurt was playing Winds and Dragons, North and South. Oh, line number three. Oh, North and South with a uh, Kong of two consecutive numbers. So six, seven, he was playing. He had a long way to go. We just started. How many cards were discarded? Oh, maybe about, what have we got? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So that's not even, I guess that's almost half of a wall. Wow, that was fast. That he got dealt a whole boatload of jokers. <laughs> Congrats, Amstead. Silly. Okay, let's start our next game. So anyway, I think we were really, I was really trying. Personally, I wanted to force myself to play line number six, the second part. The problem is I didn't have a pair of fives and a pair of sevens. I don't know where I was going to go after that. I was kind of thinking like numbers with nines, uh, line number two with the dragons, because we did have a lot of nines and I started to hold on to the dragons. I kind of like that because there's no flowers there and I didn't have any flowers. So I was thinking of jumping ship over to like numbers, but we didn't get that far enough to find out if I could have done it. <laughs> so here we go my game three first charleston sort by suit we have a pair of sevens and that is it we have six seven eight we can do six seven eight nine nine we can do six seven eight with matching dragon we can do six seven eight with opposite dragon so let's get rid of a one and eight and a two. I don't, I'm thinking about my next pass. I'm not really thrilled about passing a two and a three, but what's my other option? Maybe do this, but then that's two twos. I don't wanna do that. This is two and one. There is no good option. Let's just do this. Oh, we have sevens, but we have no flowers. We could try addition hands but we have no flowers <gasps> bunch of fives five six seven eight we don't need this five a north a two and a three i'm gonna get rid of a two a south oh we have two nines now we could play that little six, seven, eight hand with nine, nine, but we need a bunch of flowers. I'm gonna get rid of this five. Oh, we just got another five. And another green. I'm gonna continue. I don't know what hand Second I'm Charleston. East, and I guess we're gonna start picking these off. Let's do a six. A north, a nine, and a two. I'm gonna take back that nine and do the five. Okay, so I don't know if we're gonna get jokers. Maybe we could do that. Oh, now we have six, seven, eight. 
There's no other hand with nine nine. Mm, yikes. It's only in line number six with nines. I don't think we're going to be able to play them. We need lots of flowers. We need five flowers. Let's give up on that. Courtesy pass. Oh, we got a six. And another eight. Nice. Let's get rid of these three. We need a five or a nine in dot. Six, bam. Nothing. Six, bam. We don't need these two. Two cracks. So, call nine, bam. Oh, we get a jeweler swap. Don't miss those. I'm excited about Six that. Six dot. Six dot. I am. I have my pair if I'm going to play with opposite dragons. We're going to ignore because I'm not quite ready yet. Let's do our joker swap. Joker swap. And get rid of the north. North. Three crack. Although we could Two have played crack. north and south with eights. Three bam. Hope we don't get more wins. South. Six crack. There is, um, we can't even play sevens because it's. Two bam like three and four and seven we need four flowers dot. we don't have flowers four crack five crack five crack five dot oh there goes a five dot there was another north, north. So we could have kept north and seven south. crack four bam eight crack oh one crack stinking dragon three bam Yikes, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> There's no Four two bam. dragon hands in consecutive run. Eight bam. Oh. South. Looks like we could have should have played dot. north and south, right? Shoulda woulda club. <laughs> Flower. Oh no. Call. Nine bam. Oh boy. Five bam. Five bam. Four crack. What's everybody saying? One dot. Oh, so yeah, I'm playing those advanced box. Seven crack. Oh, here's a green. One bam. North. Oh, thanks, Sue, for saying I'm so helpful. Six crack. One crack. Oh, yeah, Mona, thank you. I'm easy going. <laughs> Five. Five crack. Joker swap. Seven crack. Yes, everybody does seem to like the card, Kathleen. Yep, it looks like it's going to be Five a nice crack. card. One crack. Ugh, I should have played those damn wins. Eight crack. <laughs> Darn. West. Call. Four bam. Oh, isn't it the story when you get rid of something and they One all bam. start coming your way? Nine bam. Oh, twos. Look at those pretty ladies. I'm going to get rid of one. Two bam. Seven bam. Nobody wanted it. Nine dot. Five bam. Two. two bam. Call. Nine dot. Oh, geez. Look at all the twos. He couldn't have taken it earlier, and I could have did a swap for Joker bait. Mm. Seven dot. Thanks, Amstead. I'm not calling anything. I don't know what hand I'm playing. I mean, I think I'm playing line number two, but I don't have my pair at the end. Not Seven doing bam. It. Not calling anything. Oh, we got a five. Two dot. Two dot. That's exciting. I think there's only one five dot out. I'm pretty sure. Joker swap. Four crack. Seven bam. A two crack. Two crack. Five dot. Ugh. I think this is the second one. Hope the other one doesn't go out. Eight bam. Seven dot. Okay, I'll call this one. I'm going to try that hand again. That means I have to get rid of an eight. So let's call for the pung. Call. Red. One crack. One dot. Two dot. Oh, west, and it has to be opposite, so three is safe. Three bam. Eight crack. And the joker could be used for the green or the six dots. Call. Three crack. South. Oh, how nice. Let's get rid of the eight. Eight dot. Four dot. So we need a five dot for the win. Eight bam. 
north. Don't need the six. Six bam. Three crack. So when Seven it bam. comes back to me. One bam. Let's take a pause and let's look at Annie. Has four white dragons and three eights in opposite. So it's not um, two, four, six, eight, line number three. It's not any like numbers. So let's find where there's four dragons. So maybe he's playing six, seven, eight, nine, and eight, six, seven, eight, nine in cracks. I'm thinking that's where he's playing. Or yeah, that's opposite dragon. I think that's the only hand he can be playing. So that's line number two. So he's looking for cracks. Amps is playing east and west with either ones or threes in dots or cracks. So make sure you do this when you're playing because it's teaching you new hands and also obviously to play good defense. So I don't think anybody needs this flower. Flower. Four dot. That's not it. We need five dot. I got a little excited. Red. <laughs> Five, bam. Nine. Now Am uh, Annie could use that, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Nine, crack. Flower. Two, crack. Flower. Four. I don't think anybody needs a four. Four, bam. Flower. Nine, dot. It's not us. Five, dot. There it is. Yay. Finally, I got this hand. Mahjong. Yay. <laughs> so I got this second hand, and that's um, five, six. So you have five and eight with um, the pairs, and then you have the Kong in the middle of the dragons with pungs on either side. So that's lovely. Very exciting. Line number two. Let's look around. We've got Kurt, who's playing any like numbers, four flowers with all threes. He had a little bit of ways to go. We had Annie playing the hand exactly what I thought. She was playing the same hand as us, but with cracks. Amstip was playing east and west with one dots and two bams. So not too bad. Yay for me. Oh, thanks for the love, everybody. <laughs> I actually, Sue said she can't wait to play the all dragon hand. Sue, that's one of my favorite hands from old time. Um, I think it used to be two flowers and a Kongs of dragons. Um, that I'm so excited for that to be back. I don't like that it's four flowers, but that's okay. Um, I think I won on that the other day um, when I played on Friday. Okay, onward. Yay. First Charleston. Let's um, sort by suit. And we have a bunch of sevens and one um maybe we can play the bottom concealed hand in winds and dragons if we play sevens we have to play five it's not the right it's all one suit let's try winds and dragons because we have the makings of it here let's see what we get oh more sevens yay for us oh i don't want to pass two fours Although I might have to pass two fours. I'm passing two fours. A two, a six, and a one. I'm looking at the bottom hand in Winds and Dragons. Second Charleston. This is all garbage. An eight. Oh, we're getting a lot of um, dragons. We can almost switch and play. Mm, I'm thinking about switching. And give out wins. Let's say, you know, the minute we do that. Let's see. Courtesy pass. Ah, didn't work for us. We have three. And I'll pull back an eight and put a four. Flower. Didn't work out. Oh, you know what we could have played. Maybe four, five, six. I think I had the four. 
I was a little too happy. Maybe four, five, six with four flat, five flowers. Four, five, six, seven, seven. I think that's a good hand. Or we can always go back and play sevens. I can't call this flower yet. I need five. Eight dot, six dot. I was trying Kathleen for the concealed wind hand, but it didn't work out. Oh, thanks, Sue. Sorry, you guys, you can't see me. It's covering. I'm sorry. Eight bam. I'll Four bam. I'll move my picture next time. I can probably change that in a GIF. Eight bam. Three dot. You want me to move it to the right, my picture? I can, you know what? We can pause a second and I can look at that. You want me to move my picture to the right? This is my left. I don't know if that helps you guys a little bit. I, I'm thinking that will be okay. 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 Let's ignore this. I'm playing line number six in consecutive four run, dot. I think. Or we could try like numbers if we get up. Oh, there's Eight my four dot. dot that I had passed. Five if we crack. get more sevens, so, we can try like numbers. Three dot. Eight dot. Although there goes one of the dragons. Too. East. Five bam. So I Seven hope crack. that's better and you can see the tiles a little bit more. I'm sorry if that got a little wonky and you couldn't see it. Oh good, you said better. Thanks, Sue. Okay, we only need three sevens. I'm not going to call this. One dot. Ugh, all these dragons. So, nine crack. Could switch to sevens. Six dot. If we get sevens, we're going to switch. Seven dot. Unless I get that four dot. Three crack. Five oh, there crack. There goes a seven dot. Two dot. Nine dot. Three crack. Six bam. Six bam. Four dot. A two. Two dot. What's interesting Six is you bam. have to teach yourself it's 2024. We're not collecting two threes crack. anymore. We're collecting fours. So that's Call. like a whole other crack. learning process. One dot, eight bam. All the twos now. Five crack. Seven dot. Oh well, the sevens are going out. Ah, let's try this hand. Maybe we can get the four. Let's get rid of the dragons. Red. Seven bam. Of course. <laughs> Is that, that's the first seven bam. We can let that Call. go. Call six oh, crack. Oh no, that's gonna mess up my whole hand. Oh, jeez. Okay, kids, we need recovery. South. A two. Two bam. One dot. Uh, what am I going to play now? Nine dot. He just took all Red. my sevens. Oh, lordy lord. Oh, no. What am I going to play? Nine dot. I'm thinking Five as bam. I'm playing here. Three dot. all these pretty jokers. Maybe we can play the five flowers with the dragons and a number. Did this seven? Oh, a seven crack went out already. Three bam. Oh, this is going to be a stinker. All right, I'm getting rid of this stuff. Seven bam. Four crack. I know a quintsu, but which one? Eight crack. Five dot. Need some flowers. One dot. West. Call. Flower. I can't call those because there's too many jokers. I don't want to put all those jokers out. There's not enough flowers out. Oh, lordy lord. Maybe we can play the dragons with news. All right, let's get rid of this Six stuff. dot. One bam. Mahjong. Oh, thank you for getting me out of my misery, Kurt. <laughs> I know, see, that's the one I was looking at, but I wasn't ready to call for anything. 
one of the seven cracks was out. So I need to play the last quint hand. One of the seven cracks were out, so I needed to use two jokers here for the quint. I didn't have enough flowers and not enough dragons. It was too far. I wasn't ready to call. And then I was going to switch to the dragons with the news and the two flowers. But thank God I didn't do that because everybody else was playing wins. <laughs> Yay! So Kurt played east and west with one, two, which is line number three. And you can play that with any consecutive numbers. It doesn't have to be one, two. Annie was playing two flowers, five, seven, nine, with matching dragons, which is line number three, the second part. And she had her pair, so that was the key there. And we were fighting for the dragons. I had dragons. She put up those sevens, and it just blew my hand away. Amstead put up, had was playing north and south with um, one, two, one in cracks and two in dots. Oh, that's funny. Him and Kurt were playing a similar hand, except he was playing it north and south. <laughs> Interesting. Oh boy, that was rough. Let's see the leaderboard. We did play four games. I am number two, which isn't so bad. And I won one game and Kurt won two. So congratulations to Kurt. Don't forget to try your um, I Love Maj for two weeks because you get the third week when you use my code CB. So don't forget to try it to start learning the card in their exercise room. It's excellent. That is how I fell in love with this. And I had looked back and I've been on this platform for over two years, almost three years. So I've been using it a long time and absolutely love it. Philippe and Julie really do know what they're doing. Um, they love Mahjong themselves and they listen to you. They listen and gather ideas and they put it out there to help you with your Mahjong game. So check out the site, I Love Maj, and play a few games there. $6 a month, nothing. It's one coffee you're giving up for the month. <laughs> Those Starbucks coffees, right? They cost so, so much. Um, if you have any questions, email me at mahjongclass at yahoo.com. I am taking some personal time for the next two weeks, but don't be sad. I am going to put out two videos um, pre-recorded, and I will release them at 6.30 on Tuesdays for the next two weeks, um, you'll be able to view them. They're going to be um, helpful in learning the new card. I think we're gonna start talking about the new card for the next couple of months and trying to really get a good grasp on it to be a good Mahjong player. I have not taken time, so it's time to take uh, some Tuesdays off just to be with my family. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up for tonight's play and learning about the categories. Send me your topic of choice via email, mahjongclass at yahoo.com. And catch me next week on Tuesday night at 6.30. I won't be here physically with you, but you can watch the video that I will pre-record. I will be back in two weeks live at 6.30. All of my videos are recorded, so you can go back and look at past lives. Even if you go back and look at how I was teaching you the card last year, it's all the same steps, guys. You just gotta put in the work. Um, it's so important to sit down yourself and learn. If you look at the video from last week about learning, I told you the different ways we learn. We learn by reading, writing, uh, tactical, by touching, uh, also exploring, so there's lots of ways to learn. And tonight we talked about learning about the card by color coding it. If you have stickies uh, that you can buy that you can see through or that teacher's tape I have listed on my site, you can color code your card and I think that will help you so that you can see the individual categories. You can put them on flashcards. Um, I'm recommending that you make a copy of your card. It's not for, you're not uh, violating the copyright laws. The copyright laws is so that, uh, that you distribute it. You're not distributing it, you're making it for yourself. Make a copy and write all over it and start learning 
the how you can connect the different categories and we will do that here in our clinic over the next few weeks so thank you for joining me tonight take thank you for taking some time out of your evening have a wonderful evening and i'll see you soon see you in the next one good night everyone Bye bye